Butterfly gon' recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out there. Thomas Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire flies. When you start rapping like that, die! Salute to die. And everything that he's got going on personally and professionally, he's got a battle coming up with Swamp on URL's Civil War coming up this weekend. North Carolina, salute to Dot, man. Um, I want to I break down every line that I've sketched about. There's nothing slicker than the tools in a rusty shed house. You niggas came here playing. They ain't even give you niggas. L -l 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 Listen. So, you got Swamp, right? And I seen your interview with Hip Hop Is Real. Salute to Hip Hop Is Real and everything that they do and things like that. You know what I'm saying? Like Hip Hop Is Real. They go on and they, they, they interviewed you and you was talking about your frustrations with battle rap and the fans and mostly media, you know what I'm saying, as far as you versus Swamp. So let me break this down, right? You have to update your resume. I know that you know you was away for a little while, you did some time. I'm glad to see that you're free. I trust that. And I want to see you win. So when Dot versus Swamp came out, I was the one that tweeted, Swamp need better competition at this point. Now, I know there's a lot of people that feel like Swamp been on a decline. Swamp lost to Sirius Jones. However y'all want to call it, that's cool. Swamp got the T-top battle. That battle didn't turn out the way people thought it was going to turn out. Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. But if he's on this level, if Swamp is going to be battling on this level, he's got to update his resume too. At this point, it's like, yo, you got... Geechee, you got Easy, you got B Dot, you got mad niggas that's elevating. At this point, you have to update your resume. Fonz, Fonz is going crazy. When Fonz's next joint come out, him versus, I'm gonna just leave it like that. Watch what he does. You have to update your resume, Dot. And I saw in the interview, you talked about. You know how when Easy came out, you know Easy did his thing, and you know he's ele look at what Easy's done in the year or two that he, he, he's been out. Every performance, better and better and better. You know, per schemes, aggressiveness, a, a, a street style. When you be rapping, sometimes you don't even be rhyming. Like you made the suit to cure some bodies and everything he got going on. When you first came out, it was a lot of antics. I got classics after classics after classics. He ain't even got any socks on. I have socks on. but. You made a name off of being able to do things that other people would not be able to do. But those times have came and went. I checked your uh, app stats. You're 3-0 on the app. But respectfully, you have Your Honor. You have Squeako. You got Mac Mel. That level of competition, no knock on none of them. That's just not it. It, it, it ain't. I'm, it, it's not. And you talking to a nigga that does this at a high level. Like, I recap a lot of battles. I talk about a lot of bars. Them battles is not the ones. Like, that's just not it. You got to you gotta step your shit up, my Gs. Like, it is what it is. And if this is what you're going to do, I want you to do good. Me and Dot even have a bet on this battle. His bet to me, he wanted to do 200. I did 100. I, I, I got to see more before I do. You know what I'm saying? His bet is if he wins in the building and on the app. You know what I'm saying? If he wins in the building on the app, I owe Dot $100. I do have Swamp winning this battle because Dot has to show me. You got to show me and the world that you really like that. I seen you in the two-on-two -two with uh, Twerk and Jack versus you and Bill. Entertaining two-on-two. -two. App has y'all losing. Twerk kind of carried the two-on-two -two anyway. But that was when he was like in his rut and people just wanted to see him actually show up with some material and shit. But... This is you, you like you, you versus Swamp. Swamp is predicted to win because, like, you know, you, you got the lesser two evils, you know what I'm saying? And, like, I'm saying with you, you got to update your resume. It's nobody hating, it's nobody, you know what I'm saying? Nobody, niggas ain't gonna be hating, niggas ain't talking down, ain't none of that shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, but you gotta update your resume, like, that's just what it is. Like, I, I mean, I, I'm sorry, I can't, I can't change that, and I can't change the way I feel. But Dot needs to realize that in this regard, niggas is not hating. Like, <laughs> niggas is not hating. Like, we got way different, many more other battle rappers that niggas could be talking left about or, you know what I'm saying, shit like that. 
But, and, and just basically at this point, it's not the media, it's not the fans, it's not the league, it's the actual artist. I have seen people go from nobody's looking for them, nobody cares about them, to blowing up to big stage stardom. Danny Myers was an afterthought for a couple of years, trust and believe. Like, you couldn't even, I couldn't even blog on Danny and nobody would care about it. But he started taking battles seriously, you know, he battles a lot. Still more than I would like to see him battle, but that's another thing. He canceled the clone battle in order to prepare for the Rum Nitty battle, which shows me a start, you know what I'm saying? It's a start, you gotta start somewhere. Um, but that, like, I mean, you've been around for a long time. You've been around as long as Bill Collector. You've been around as long as John John. You've been around as long a lot, a lot of these guys. Not as long as John John, but you've been around as long as Bill Collector. Uh, you've been around as long as some of these first classes, whether it be, uh, you know, Chess, T-Top, Saga. You know what I'm saying? Like, you've been here longer than Geechee. You've been here longer than Twerk. You've been here longer than Av, you've been here longer than Fonz, you've been here longer than a lot of Lou Cash, you've been here longer than a lot of these niggas. And there's no reason why if you're as good as you think you are, as good as people portray you to be, that you're not elevating. Now, like I said, I know you had, you know, you got locked up for a minute and you back out now, but it starts with Swamp. And I want my money. I want my money. If you lose to Swamp, I am going to be sending you my cash at the same day. I should have bet the 200, but the 100 is safe. I will be sending it to you. Same, same day. And I need, I don't want my money. I need my money. You know what I'm saying? This is actually a good bet. This is a good bet. I don't think it's not a good bet. Some would have said I should have took the 200 on you. But I'm going to stick with the one, you know. Uh, I did tell uh, Dot that, you know, I, I like this type of energy, you know what I'm saying? When people call, people say that, you know, they don't got faith in you, they don't think you're going to win, or the other opponent deserves better talent or better competition. I like the fact, you know, you took it to the streets, talked on Hip Hop Is Real, you stated your claim, you said, you know, this is a different bag that you in. Yo, all you got to do, that's all you got to do, is go beat Swamp, and then tap back in with me. You hit me up, you beat him, you hit me up, I got you, bro. Got you. But Swamp, you know, if Swamp loses, Swamp got to send me $100. You need, Swamp got to send me the $100 to send it die. I won't pay the nigga out my own motherfucking pockets. I will pay him if I have to. Um, salute to Dot. Uh, like I said, you got a battle coming up with Swamp on Civil War. Take it serious. I was going to recap the battle anyway because of the shit that I talked and the things that I personally, I know my, my, my word got reached. I know niggas watch this shit. Salute to everybody who do. Uh, so, you know, I was going to recap it anyway just to see. But now you get a, we're going to really, really recap this. And I hope that you're rapping. I do. And like I said, you know, I'm not knocking uh, your battles. But like I said, when I looked at who you have battled, on the app, those names, and it's no disrespect to nobody, you know what I'm saying? I just call it like I call it so I can't spoil it in order to keep it a buck. You gotta be honest, you know what I'm saying? Those names is not gonna it's not gonna do it. You battle Squeak or Mac Meliano. None of those cats is on big cards. No knock to them, you know, salute to everything that they got going on respectfully. And I don't big cards, these are not names that they're pushing, these are not big brands. So if you're three and zero against them, you're supposed to be. You are supposed to be three and zero. You you are who you say you are. If you are what you say you are, a superstar, then have no fear. You need to win. You need to win. You should be beat. You should beat all of these niggas. You should, right? Okay then. Salute to Dot. But I need my money. You lose to you lose, and we chew. This is this is just keeping it honest with you, my guy. So, salute to everybody that's on the card. I still think it's dirty as hell that Sue serving Cortez is not a live stream. The fans, like I, I put the tweet out. Yo, I want to show y'all niggas something, right? I put the tweet out yesterday about Cortez and um and Surf not being a live stream and how fucked up I thought it was. You know what I'm saying? I still think it's fucked up. I think that Cortez versus Surf should be on a live stream. This tweet has picked up 57,000 impressions, 3,100 engagements, and 2,000. Like, like this tweet is going fucking crazy. And that, and the reason why. It's because everybody feels the same. Numbers don't lie. Y'all can act like they do, but they don't. This is 57,000 people who agree with the fact that this battle should have been on a live stream or should have been somewhere where people could actually have some access to it. You know what I'm saying? Like, not just 
on the app. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, oh, there we go. 57,000. That shit ain't no lie. When I said that Cortez needs to be on a, Cortez deserves more. Fans deserve more too. The niggas who went there last time and didn't see it, they deserve more too. Fuck, fuck the media. What about the niggas who took off work and all of that? But you know what? I guess this is their way to try to make the app important. It's not, but they're trying to make it the end all be all by throwing surf first. But that, back to you, my nigga. We got some business we need to tend to. You know what I'm saying? And it's almost 10 too, so don't pretend to. I need you to handle that work. You take this pack, you go find that man, and don't come back until you find that man. You know, don't make it debatable so a nigga can hate on you. But that I had to address that, you know what I'm saying? I still rock with you, I love what you do, but you gotta update your resume. I'm sorry. It, it, you just have to update, not of that caliber. Like, Swamp's a bigger name than everybody you battle. Period. And Swamp, and I, when I asked the question, Swamp, they said Swamp respected Dot and he wanted to battle with Dot, so I could respect that handle, but at the same time, yeah. We need more C4. Gang!